here's how you can make a simple yet powerful rocket from things you can find around your house using just sugar and potassium nitrate. Let's get started. I source my potassium nitrate from Amazon. Just type in KNO3. You can also source it from a hardware store so it has some manure. However, I prefer the lab grade stuff because it's more fine. Now I did say you can use sugar, which you can. However, I'm using sorbitol as a fuel because it's more resistant to caramelization when we heat it up later. This mixture calls for a 65 to 35% ratio. I'll make a 100 gram batch, measuring out 65 grams of KNO3 and 35 grams of sorbitol. With the ingredients all measured out, put them both in a sealed container, shake and mix them thoroughly. You now have a Powertechnic mixture. And if you want your friends to think you're doing something sketchy, although this is pretty sketchy, you can mix it like this. I'm not gonna use my real credit card, but here's a Chick-fil-A gift card. Uh, first come, first serve. Uh, if you buy something, let me know. Of course, make sure to do this outside in a well-ventilated area and begin to preheat your pan. Safety is not one priority. So make sure to have a fire extinguisher nearby and of course, wear goggles. Pour the mixture into the pan and begin to stir regularly. As the sugar begins to melt, the mixture begins to clump up and eventually will form a homogeneous liquid with low viscosity. I have a few containers I want to test the art candy in, so scoop it out while it's still hot and liquid. I'm trying out this plastic film container that I wrapped with foil tape and the shallow aluminum cat food container. I'm also setting some goop to the side to mold into little rocket smoke worms that we'll see later. I didn't have enough art candy mixture to fill all these containers, so I'll set them gently to the side. And I have a really fun, maybe dumb idea I want to try out. Any guesses? We'll see that at the end. Remember that the sugar is super hot, so allow it to cool before trying to mold the little wormies. This little guy is roughly one inch by one quarter inch and takes a surprisingly long time to burn. Small, but powerful. I think it's average sized. I molded a wick out of R candy because the cat food container is very shallow and I didn't want to burn my thingies. It got so hot and melted right through the aluminum. Check out that damage. Wow, that melted right through. How hot that got. Just aftermath. So far, we've only seen undirected burns. Let's see what happens when we try to direct the energy in a certain direction. All right, I got it in the ice bath and I got my little broke boy wit. Wick, June Wick, to keep it safe. Now let's light it up. That's crazy. Well, it survived. It looks like it didn't puncture through. The ice bath did help. And now for the reason you're subscribed to me, unless you're not, and you should. Let's do some sketchy shit. Chat, this is how you make sparklers. In I thought this was gonna be more exciting, but it was fun, I guess. It's like a sparkler of some sort, a sparkler made of rocket fuel, but be safe. That wasn't too bad. I'm gonna practice a bit more so I can make a sugar rocket that flies as high as possible, just like Johnny 61616. In the meantime, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make homemade rocket igniters for rockets that kind of work. Uh. <laughs> and other sketchy shit. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know down in the comments what videos you'd like to see me make next. Thank you and stay curious.